What is up, my fucking retards? You ready for spawn issue number 77? Let's go. Spawn wants the truth. He wants to know what the fuck is happening to him. He's looking to Cogliostro for answers as to why he feels the pain and misery of the whole world. This happened all after he entered the green world. Cogliostro tells Spawn that you want answers yet you don't ask the right questions. Spawn dangles him off of a rooftop telling him that he doesn't care how bad the truth hurts, he still wants to hear it, tell me, and then Cog says, hmm, perhaps you are ready. As the homeless people are chilling in the alleyways, this preppy lady comes over and gives them cards saying that they look like they need help and that she can help them. Cogliostro tells Spawn to follow him, but they start heading towards the church, and Spawn's like, why the fuck are we going to a church? And then Cogliostro is like, well, it's pretty much a hell spawn museum filled with artifacts, and Spawn's like, oh, a ray. Then, uh, Cog opens the door even though it was locked, and Spawn's like, how'd you do that? Cog says he still has some tricks up his sleeve, and then Spawn starts approaching the church further, and Cog questions, how the fuck did you perform that miracle for Grandma Blake? And Spawn's like, I don't know, I just wanted to ease her pain. And he says, that's good, you're starting to learn how to harness your powers. But, you want to learn how to use them and control them rather than relying on instinct. Sam is angry. He wants to get Spawn back for what he's done to them. He just goes rushing into the situation, flying into the alleyways, ready to take Spawn in. Now Twitch does not agree with this because it's such a fast and non-tactical plan with no thought, you know, in it. So he does not really agree with this, but he always, you know, will watch Sam's back. One of the homeless guys enters the alleyways looking for the lady that, you know, gave him the card and he realizes there's no one there. Then he thinks to himself, I'm just a bum and not worth anything. Then he starts feeling sorry for himself. Sam and Twitch are going through the alleyways and Sam is interrogating everyone trying to find Spawn. Spawn enters the place and immediately senses that there's something wrong. Then these angelic bands start coming at Spawn. The funny thing about these bands is that the more Spawn struggles, the more power it takes away from him. So Cogliostro tells him to hold still for a second, then he takes it off Spawn and throws it away. He tells him that it's the ceremonial headdress of Hell Spawn Hunters. So, you know, the angel hunters like Angela and all those people. He tells Spawn that he slew that one before, ages ago. And, you know, <laughs> at least Spawn didn't touch the lance this time. Spawn says, you slew an angel? And he said, yes, I was quite the warrior back in my day. I slew more than one angel. I was pretty much a vicious, animalistic killer. <laughs> That's a better way to put it. And I have oceans of blood on my hands. You see, I was a hell spawn just like you, but I extracted the symbiote from my body and regained my freedom. It was an extremely painful and long process. Joke's on you though, Cogliostro didn't fully regain his freedom after he purged his symbiote from his body. You see, he cannot be claimed by hell nor heaven. He is doomed to walk this earth forever until he finds the right champion that can help him break these chains that bind us. So he thinks Spawn is the champion that can do that. As Bobby is walking through the alleyways, he discovers Whistler's dead body, but it has whiskey in its hand or whatever it has. It has alcohol in his hands. And then Bobby picks it up and fucking drinks it anyway, as if he couldn't get any lower. Cogliostro explains how he has spent centuries watching every hell spawn fail, succumb to evil, die, you know, and all become part of Malbolgia's army. Spawn notices the hell spawn skulls on the table and he says, They all came before me? And he says, Yes. These were all true warriors, but they all succumbed to Malbolgia's evil. And then Spawn says, so what chance do I fucking have? Cogliostro tells Spawn that he has to accept his suit's savageness and true nature so that he can allow it to grow in strength and power. And then he says, after that, you go to the devil himself Malbolgia and defeat him, taking his throne and becoming the king of hell. Spawn says, what? In order to stop being a hell spawn, I have to become the devil. And he says, it's the ultimate sacrifice. Because 
not only are you saving tons of souls that are under Malbolgia's thumb, but you're also saving this planet and everyone you love on it. On top of that, you'll be saving me as well. So, you have, in order to save everything, you have to spend eternity e being the devil. The ultimate sacrifice. Spawn says, no, this is too much. There has to be some other way. And the only recourse to this, Cog says, is to gain the favor of hell and be- Fuck! To regain the- <laughs> To regain the favor of heaven and have them redeem you, essentially. And Spawn starts freaking out, saying, no, no, no. And Cog's like, why the fuck are you freaking out? Relax. And then Spawn's like, no, it's one of those visions again. There's a dark force. I don't know, something's wrong. Then as Sam and Twitch walk through the alleyways with no sign of Spawn, they realize that he's busy. And then Sam says, sorry Twitch for my theatrics. You know how I get, I'm all hot tempered and shit. Then this dude mysteriously comes out of the alleyways and said, Hey gentlemen, can you give me a light? And he says, never mind, I found one. And he starts shooting at them randomly. Then Sam fucking pulls out his gun and blows the dude's brains out, taking him out. Then Sam says, hey Twitch, I got him. Twitch? Hey Twitch? After that, we see that Twitch has been shot in the head. That, my friends, is a wrap for Spawn Issue number 77. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, well, you are the grossest, most despicable human being on the planet. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.